The simplest answer is when we start with reveal windows, the first thing that we do is we create a crater to see where the substrate is. It's a very small little flick of the wrist with the scalpel. Um, and that way we can get a sense of how many layers go down into the substrate. And the substrate is either plaster or sometimes it's brick or sometimes it's metal. Um, and then it's basically whatever holds the anything, whatever the paint is or finish is applied to. And then with that, once we get a sense of that, um, we typically will take paint samples um, wherever we do a reveal, sometimes multiple, depending which colors we need to capture. For example, if there's a stencil that we find, sometimes we will take paint samples from the right or left of the, um, of the paint reveal, and then we will, um, and then we will analyze those to get the precise color because obviously um, uh, solvents will affect the um, the paint layer um, and can sometimes alter its 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 color and then um, and then from that we can get a sense of how many campaigns there were so if we find multiple campaigns of decorative paint which happens often um, we will try to reveal as many as possible we don't blow through each of them to get down to the bottom layer, as it were, we will create a layered effect of having one reveal of one period and then another reveal of another period and another reveal of another period, for example. And then that will give us a better sense of understanding what occurred. So sometimes um, the reveals show um, the same sorts of patterns over another. Typically, the best way we know which is the original is because it's the crispest, most well-executed design because a lot of times it's building maintenance, for example, will go in and um, fix uh, the stenciling or the decorative paint. And so um, over time, as that occurs, the decorative paint becomes less detailed and more morphed. Um, so the original is typically the best executed design. And then um, moving forward, um, you know, and a lot of it also just is knowing the history of finishes um, and when materials were used, certain paints weren't uh, produced earlier than a certain date. Um, certain metallics weren't typically used before a certain date. So it's holding that all of that information in your head as you're performing the reveal as well. And thank you for tuning in.